May 27th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on the RSOE website today. Um, the only really thing new on the uh, Fukushima is uh, TEPCO has announced that there is a leak in uh, the number three reactor and they don't know where it is. Uh, blah, 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 more crap. Um, definitely attach links below, of course they have going on today we have a heat wave being reported in the state of Alaska and the Metro region uh, extreme weather of course coming out of Atlanta Georgia forest fires in the Belarus Islands in Spain um, extreme weather out of uh, Texas Dallas Fort Worth and of course this is one big system rolling through Along with the heat wave in Alaska, we have an avalanche in um, Denali National Park. Uh, apparently, four uh, climbers have died. Forest fires, new fires, um, <clears throat> starting out in um, Canada, the province of Yukon. Um, the rangers are saying these are man made, um, aka preventable fires. And um, they were they weren't great big fires, but they're telling everybody to definitely be on the ball because uh, they still have all those other fires they're dealing with, and that's been ongoing for a long time now. What else do they have going on today? Uh, of course, we got the extreme weather in Tennessee, Tennessee wide. Um, what were they saying? Oh yeah, as more storms make their way across East Tennessee, people across the state are still recovering from tornadoes and floods from the past few months. Thursday, the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency of the Federal Emergency Management Agency talked about how the state's doing on its road to recovery. Now check it out. FEMA says it's contacted and registered 9,000 families in Tennessee. The agencies are still working on working to help many more. But managing recovery efforts for the, for five separate disasters can be challenging, beginning with the severe weather on the 25th of February of this year. We'd have been unprecedented rash of weather outbreaks that have led to five presidential disaster declarations in Tennessee, said the TEMA director. The one problem, FEMA says, is it's running into is some people are giving the wrong date for the disaster they were part of. Because of this, they were denied assistance. So they're playing We've Got Five Disaster Cluster Shuffle with these people in Tennessee. Not very cool, FEMA. Um, and then what else we got going on? Uh, of course the tornadoes. Um, the Joplin, Missouri tornadoes there, they're still reporting 236 people missing now. Um, <clears throat> the Canadian County, they, they had tornadoes. Uh, flash floods in Detroit, Michigan, um, and we know their infrastructure is top notch. Uh, they have some severe floods, and they're talking about a few more days of rain yet to go. Um, they're just on the part of this uh, Lando Kane, blah, blah, blah. Over to the Watchers. They're reporting a locust plague ravages northwest China. Large swarms of locusts have laid waste to vast tracts of northwest China's. Um, Ingjang Uyghur Autonomous Region with authorities expecting the plague to worsen as the weather heats up. Lightning strikes kill 40 people in Bangladesh. And of course the typhoon Sanja approaches the Philippines. It's now a super typhoon. Over to the extinction protocol. The only thing they really have going on today is scientific debate continues if sun triggers many ice age events. Well, duh. And over to the earth changes Scott.net. Sanja becomes a super typhoon. As predicted, uh, Typhoon Sanja intensified with a super typhoon with wind speed estimated as 130 knots. That's 145 miles an hour. When NASA's trim satellite passed directly overhead, May 26, da da da, it's a pretty good radar picture. Strange he see birds present gender bending mystery. Um, Strange bird showed up in Larry Annan's backyard in January 14, clearly a cardinal, but it had bright red plumage of a male on its left side and gray female feathers on its right and they've got a picture of this kinda crazy bird 
That is a crazy bird. Uh, U.S. storms will drop heavy rains for the next two days in western Michigan. And, of course, um, it's just this ongoing storm in the Ohio Valley. Uh, it's rolled up through the Mississippi Valley. We have all the flooding still going on in um, Wyoming and uh, flooding in through the Missouri Valley. And uh, <laughs> we're not out of the woods by far, and uh, summer's just gearing up. That is about all I have for you today. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Leave your comments or attach your videos below. I appreciate any and all help. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.